My name's Keely Miller. I'm a bassoon instructor with REW Music, and here are some bassoon tips on video for you to use to practice at home. Today, we're going to talk about putting the bassoon together, and we're going to look at the different parts. We're going to go over the names of these parts, and we're going to talk about how to take care of them with general instrument maintenance. So, in front of you, we have the entire bassoon deconstructed. The part that is closest to the camera is the bell. This part is a long, slender part that goes at the very top of the instrument. Like many woodwind instruments, the bell is either at the very top or the very bottom of the instrument. This next part is called the wing joint. It's called this because it has a rounded shape that molds into the next piece that I will be showing you. This is the wing joint. Next to the wing joint, we have the long joint. It's called that because it is the longest joint on the instrument. It is what fits into the wing joint. It has a very round shape, and the area with no keys fits right into the molded piece of the instrument. This next piece is the very bottom piece of the instrument. It is known as the boot of the bassoon. The boot has a very interesting inside. It is one of the only instruments that is a wind instrument that looks like this. It has two main holes. These holes are where the wing joint and the long joint meet. In order to swab out this um, boot, it takes a very specific kind of method that I will show you in just a moment. The last two pieces, arguably the most important pieces on the instrument, are the vocal and the reed. These two pieces are attached at the very top and they are where you um, blow the air into the instrument to produce the tone. We're now going to construct the bassoon. We always start with the very bottom of the instrument. Attached to the boot is the long joint. The long thin cork goes into the biggest hole of the boot. You tighten it very gently so it fits snugly into the hole. There's a long area of wood that is completely free of keys. It's blank so that the keys will not be crushed between the area where the wing joint meets the long joint. The wing joint goes next to the long joint like this. Again, you want to be very careful as you snugly push it down and secure it next to the long joint. It should feel very solid. It shouldn't feel loose at all. Then at the very top, you have this area right here. This little mechanism will snap the two together and make sure that they do not wiggle apart. There is a small hole right at the area where the vocal enters that is pushed into so it stays secure. Next, we do the bell. The bell is going to go at the very top of the instrument like so. You want to snugly secure it as before, and make sure these two pieces overlap. These two keys need to overlap in order for you to play your low B flat. Finally, we will put on the vocal. The vocal goes securely here at the top. This area right here needs to meet with this pad. That is a tone hole that will meet to create a middle F sound when you press down your whisper key on the back of the instrument. Finally, you put your reed at the end of the vocal and you have a constructed bassoon. Thank you for watching these videos today. I hope you enjoyed them and learned something new about the bassoon. If you're interested in private lessons on the bassoon, contact REW and I hope to see you soon. Thanks.